Good evening and welcome to Truth Seekers Read. The Bible says what? First of all, tonight what we're going to do, we're going to first start off with prayer. So, Lord Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, Lord. We just pray to you that you just give us the insight in your word, Lord, and that each and every person that uh, sees this video or hears your word, Lord, gets enlightened in the heart. Lord, we just want to thank you for just gathering us together to share your most holy and precious word. Lord, we thank you for just guiding uh, the Holy Spirit to us, Lord, to keep teaching us to go out and do the work. Lord, we ask that each and every person just gets a blessing from all of the lessons that we teach. Lord Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, minister, it's just so much going on. You know, you, you, you want to teach on one thing, and then you hear something else crazy. That's right. You think you want to go there, then you hear something else crazy. Right. Uh, talking about with these black Hebrew Israelites. And I know it would be easy for us, uh, as we talked about, uh, and, and just for everybody, we will, uh, God's will, we will, I guess it's going to be a, uh, um, a Deuteronomy 28, part 3, where we can kind of close that off. Because okay. uh, yesterday, uh, Brother Dave, uh, who's not able to be with us tonight, he's out witnessing uh, to a, a Nigerian. Okay. Uh, I think that he's a um, Jehovah Witness. Okay. But but for some but the the truth that they're getting him is keeping him coming back. Okay. So I tell him I say, hey, you excuse, bro. I mean, right. not that he couldn't do what he wanted here, anyway, right? But still. but, but he, he he takes this serious being here, mm -hmm. and so but I, but anytime you can go witness to somebody, right. you, you might have to take and do it, right. you know. Exactly. And so so we, we have to go with God, <laughs> with God's right. senses. Right. Right. So but anyway, we we kind of talked about it, but we we uh, we kind of veered from from the Deuteronomy. And talked about uh, other scriptures and comparing the nation of Islam, showing how they twist all of them, how they twist scriptures and um, uh, that that their favorite verse, uh, precept upon precept. And so we talked about those things. But anyway, um, a couple of things that I had, had uh, noticed with this group. Um, now, when you go out with them, uh, what 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 do they tell you about heaven and hell? Well. <laughs> what they tell us about heaven and hell well really they don't believe in the concept mm -hmm. of heaven and hell mm -hmm. uh, they they tell you hell you know doesn't exist it's not really a place where people are really going to go mm -hmm. and really when you mention heaven and hell they really kind of try to insult you and say you believe in that that's not true mm -hmm. you know so from from my understanding they don't believe that hell mm -hmm. actually exists and they believe that heaven is going to be on earth mm -hmm. but they don't believe in hell Right, right, right. So, right, because this is a a, a condition, a, a right. state, state of mind. Mm -hmm. But see, that's the trickery of the of the devil, because they will say that they believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. the, the the video that you, you I think you got a chance to look at one today. Right. They'll say that they believe in the Bible, but when you go to a scripture verse on doctrine, because we understand uh, systematic theology, right. how it teaches on subject matters right. and whatnot, and so uh, whether whether it might be angelology, demonology, mm -hmm. and and so on. Hell, all of these are doctrine. Now, all of them fits together, mm -hmm. but but we want to know what does the Bible teach on that specific subject. Mm -hmm. okay. And so that's why we, when we get into it, we, 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 we study it. We study the Bible as a whole, this or that, however, Bible. whatever. Right, right. right. And so, uh, um, and once again, we thank for Pastor Moore's classes because that's where, where you learn to do that. Right. Bibliology and all those things that right. I had never heard of before. We, we understand when you begin to write into people that, that's... that's um, uh, what the con artist gives a word for when you get good at the, uh, you you practice your okay. deception. Mm -hmm. okay. They practice their right. their, their deception right. of being good at that that they they, they crap. Right. That's because that's what it is. That's what it is. And how 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 to avoid questions and how to mm -hmm. and so many times and manipulate, the and manipulate right. Mm -hmm. And so many times for us we go to the scriptures. And so when they don't want to address the scripture. Really, they take you out of the box. Not that we, we don't have answer, because we stay at home with the Bible, right. regardless of what they say. But if you're talking to somebody that's claiming that they believe the Bible. Then when you quote the Bible, they look at you like, what did you say they say? Oh, you believe that? Right. Well, it's yeah. in the Bible. It's in the Bible. That's what the Bible <laughs> right. says. Right. right. And what I find, then they go, then they switch and go to the Torah. Yeah. All of a sudden. <laughs> or, or to the Apocrypha. Yeah, right, right. right. Run. And mm -hmm. as we're talking about that, you know, if we look at hell, and like you were saying, Pastor, that hell is a literal place mm -hmm. and the bible teaches hell being a literal place mm -hmm. so if we look over at uh revelation chapter 20 okay. and we'll start verse 11 through verse 15 okay. we're gonna see a literal where god saying this is a literal place that you're gonna go and as we get to each term i'm gonna just pause at the term so that you can see that the term is letting you know that this is actually going to happen mm -hmm. okay so starting at verse 11 it says this 
Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Excuse me a minute. What, 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 are, what translation are you reading out of? This is the uh, New, New King, King James. James. Okay, so he's in the New King James, yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. right. So, and it says, and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. Now, what I want to emphasize here is this. It says, there was no place found for them, and I saw the dead. Notice it's not saying the dead in Christ. Uh -huh. So it's just saying the dead. These are all people. This verse has to do with all condemned people mm -hmm. coming back, being judged, standing before God, and then being sent somewhere. Mm -hmm. So as I continue, mm -hmm. it says, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. Now, these books that were open are all the things mm -hmm. that the condemned people are getting judged on. Mm -hmm. Now, as we go further, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works mm -hmm. by the things which were written in the books. So now we see a continuum. God has one book of everything you did, and mm -hmm. then he has what? A book of life. Mm -hmm. So let's go further. Verse 13, it says, the sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, mm -hmm. each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were, were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Mm -hmm. Right? Second death. Mm -hmm. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. So now, we see the words resurrected. Yep. We know that everybody is standing in front of God being judged. Yep. These are all condemned people. Mm -hmm. They're being judged on all the works that they did, which didn't let them get into heaven. Mm -hmm. And then we find that what? Their book, that their names was not written in the book of life, mm -hmm. which what? God is not what? The uh, God of the dead. Right. All of these people are going to hell. Right. So therefore, we see that the Bible, step by step, plays it out and lets you know. So if 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 hell isn't a literal place, then when these people had the first death, mm -hmm. there would be no reason for the second death, which is eternal separation from God. Mm -hmm. So then, therefore, we see that hell is a literal place. There's no purpose of raising a person up mm -hmm. out of the grave, mm -hmm. then judging them according to their works, yeah. and then sending them to hell. Right. Sorry, right. the Bible just showed us that Hell does exist. And, and, and minister, and as I was uh, uh, reading on, that's why I, I, I like to, to, to get a chance to read right, while right. you're talking. Right. In the verse also, so based on what they say, and matter of fact, hold it, uh, let me keep my thought, and I'm going to just read just a little bit of this, where they, they explain what hell, uh, salvation in heaven and hell is. It says, salvation, heaven, and hell. Now, this is from the House of David. Their website is hodc12.info. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so I want you to know where I'm getting this from. Where right. you making this up? And so I looked, I pulled the article on on, uh, on uh, salvation in heaven, and uh, they say salvation in heaven and hell are conditions that are received and played out mm -hmm. on earth. The earth has a heaven and hell, and the spirit world has a heaven and hell. I'm not gonna quote, quote the, the, the 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 scripture that he tried to go there because that. <laughs> we know that that ain't what the Bible's true. saying. Right. So as as Minister saying, so here you just heard him read from the the, the text. Right. That ain't talking about on earth. No, it's not. Because these people were already dead. Mm -hmm. They already went through mm -hmm. the first death, which is a physical death, mm -hmm. and then was resurrected up to go to what? The second death. Right. Which we right. know in a in biblical theology is what? Mm -hmm. Eternal separation from God. And and then minister the, the next verse in chapter 21, mm -hmm. bear, bear you witness, because says, then John says, I saw a new Ooh. heaven and a uh, new uh, earth, for amen. the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. So what is that you talking about somebody being on heaven and hell on earth, and, and you got servants and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> so then, so you see, they have to read in, they're reading something in the text that's not there. And even more so, they read not deals into the text yes, that right. the text doesn't su 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 support. Yeah, right. So how can you have somebody be a servant? And matter of fact, I guess we might as well go there since we're in 21. We might as well. Um, now, we're going to ask you to read the whole chapter okay. but of, mm -hmm. of 21. And so I'm, I'm giving this according to what we believe because mm -hmm. it's in the Bible. Uh, let's see. Then I saw a new heaven and new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no, and there was no longer any sea. And I saw so so I, so 
What, what are you doing? Trying to symbolize that or trying to say that that's not literal? Right. The Bible makes this, this literal. Right, right, right. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautiful, dressed for a husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will, will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death. Yeah. <laughs> no more death. On, on this earth. That's right. right now, that's death. That's mm -hmm. death. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. uh, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the older of things has passed away. So if it was no more, if it's no more, even if you was a servant, mm -hmm. don't that apply to you too? That applies to you. <laughs> why would you, right, so why would you be in heaven? As a slave, that's going to be sorrowful. Yeah. That's going to be painful. Yes. And you're not going to feel yes. really loved like God rejected you. So, of course, we Minister, know that. this man today said, uh, 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 and I, I mean that in the most best way, mm -hmm. he took and said, and I'm going to try to find that uh, while, while you teaching on something else. Because okay. we taught on it, but I can't remember the exact verse. Where God reminded Israel, said that uh, re when he was talking about the, the service and whatnot, he told him, you can't treat them harshly. Remember how you were treated. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, in, Egypt. Uh, in Egypt, and God say, so God don't play that tit for tat stuff. No, don't. Huh? That's right. <laughs> right, right. So, but this guy was talking about, he was telling the folk, because he was talking to some Caucasian uh, people. I can't, I don't know whether they was Christians or not. Right. So I just say he was talking to some Caucasian people. Mm -hmm. And he was telling them, yep, you, you're going to be in chains, and you're going to have the the the, uh, the chain uh, things on your leg mm -hmm. and around your neck, just like what you did the, that sounds like hatred that is to it. me. That That's is. like I want want what happened to me. To happen I want to get even That's right. with, with 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 you. And you yes. know what? What I, I what I really realized too in that, what they don't understand is this. You'll take a verse and say, you know, saying, well, uh, vengeance is the Lord, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. But you forget that forgiveness is the Lord. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> more than vengeance, he he definitely wants us to forgive. Yeah. So if you're standing there with hatred in your heart, you are not doing the work of the Lord. That's right. Period. That's that, right. That's Satan. So it, it's just hard for them to stand on the corner and to downgrade other people and tell them that they're going to be servants and that the Lord doesn't love them. I'm sorry. If the Lord loved your sinful self, mm -hmm. then of course the Lord right. loved them. And then most of these people you're talking to aren't the ones who did anything to you because most of the people of the day were never slaves. So yeah. I just don't understand the concept yeah, where they're yeah, coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. still mad about being a slave, which you were never a slave, but you want to put other people down about it. Now, now let, let's go a little bit farther. Let's jump down to now, you being a good student that y'all, y'all going to read it all, but for mm -hmm. sake of time, we're just going to go to some, just some, all of it is key. Right. But some key points about this heaven that, that, that the text bear, that it, it, it means that we got to look at it. Okay. Jump to verse 8. Minister, you want to read there? Uh, verse Okay, it says, but now the cowardly, unbelieving, uh -huh. abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Mm -hmm. uh, the one in Revelation, but that's okay, we'll find it later. Mm -hmm. But it's where it tells you that none of these should have their, should be in the, the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. and it's in Revelation, it might be 20, but that's okay, don't try to go there now. Okay. But, so, but the point being, if the ones like you did read, read around verse 8, and maybe I might have came down too, too okay. soon. But if all these people shall they part in the lake of fire, they ain't in heaven. No, they're not. And, all, and if all these things, murdering all the things that you that you say that the white folks did, mm -hmm. all these things, all, they were falling to death. Exactly. Well, guess who else falling there? You. Every time I read the look on TV, black folks is killing black folks. Oh, that's right. Black folks is lying. That's and, right. And, and, and but, but, but by the uh, grace of God and the blood of Christ, out of building that bunch shoe. That's right. So, yeah. so what are you talking about and whatnot? People that do these things, it said won't be there. So you can't be no servant because no. it said, "Oh, come on, Robert." Because it says, "No defile." Man, you talked about. It. I know we you did, know what it is. I he said, "No defile." Be, but anyway, that's what I think of it. Okay. But anyway, if no defile, all these things are defiling, mm -hmm. and if they're defiling, how can I be in heaven? Right. You, you, you can't. You can't. <laughs> and that's and. That's just another thing that we have to look at. That in their theology, their theology just goes around the truth. Yeah, it just goes right around the corner, and it it, it doesn't take the scripture literal, and everything becomes either mm -hmm. symbolic or spiritualized. Right. 
And that's how we get off. And they don't let you read the scripture. Right. That's another thing with it and whatnot. You try. You may know some of these things, and when you get to talking, they're not gonna let you read that. Cause, cause remember, they're gonna say they ain't there for you. What were you gonna say? I about to say, excuse me. They're gonna say, oh, you're not reading it right because you know you have to do precept on precept. Yeah. Not online. <laughs> and when you're not doing it like that, then you're reading the scriptures wrong. Right. 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 And the whole goal, the goal is trickery mm -hmm. to get you off the point. They, they're there to, to not, not to teach. If you're the black man, to teach you. Right. If you're the other man, they're there to con 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 condemn, condemn you. you. <laughs> right. 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 But they don't want you reading the scripture mm -hmm. uh, uh, like the scripture is meant to be in context. In context. Right, right, right. 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 And, we, uh, and we did see a display of that when we were uh, visiting with them not too long ago where they took, you know, saying first uh, they took John 3.16 and took each and every word and went to a different scripture to tell you what was meant in that verse but and you read the context of the verse the context of the verse clearly lets you know what mm -hmm. it's talking about and the book will also let you know mm -hmm. the context in which these words are used mm -hmm. and then you know as we talked to them they were saying that the world was only Israel but of course we knew there was too many scriptures to let you know that <laughs> the world is not just Israel because when you look at uh, one of our favorite scriptures John 1 12 and 13 mm -hmm. the first thing it says in chapter in verse 9 is that you know, saying Jesus went to his own, and his own did not receive him. Mm -hmm. So then we know who was his own. Israel, Israel those mm -hmm. of his bloodline, they didn't receive him. Then the next thing it says that, then, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to do it a misjustice, so I'll read it. Okay. And it says, First uh, John, I'm going to start at verse 9. Verse 9, that was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Then verse 12, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, mm. to those who believed in his name. Right. So right there shows a distinction, to those who believe in his name. So mm -hmm. what, what it was telling you right there, too, is Israel didn't believe in him. Mm -hmm. They didn't believe that he was the Messiah, which we know the, the, the Israel of today still don't believe that Christ or Jesus was the Messiah. Mm -hmm. That's how we know that they still apostate today. We right, know right. who the Jews are. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we look at it, uh, something that I was researching out, these guys standing on the corner every day claiming to be the 12 tribes of Israel, and they have this long list giving you the tribes. Well, from what we understand in the in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, it lets you know that the nation of Israel will not be reunited to God as a nation mm -hmm. until the angels, the four angels, come and give that nation life again. And they don't get that life until uh, tribulation, which is in uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 3, mm -hmm. and that's during the tribulation period. Well, we're not in tribulation today because if we were, we would know and we'd be running. They ain't took the Bibles yet. Well, see, we, man, you got a problem. I got a problem? Yeah, What's you got problem? a problem. Okay. See, well, you see, because they don't believe that. They claim they believe the Bible. They claim But they don't yeah. believe that. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't even believe it. It's biblical prophecy. Right, I, I believe, I believe it. it. Right. The, yet the Bible speaks of it. Mm -hmm. And then over in uh, Matthew 24 and the Olivet Discourse, when uh, Christ is talking to the disciples and they ask him, when will uh, he come back? And then he gives them answers to when he'll when he'll be coming back and when they'll be uh, rescued. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. Daniel nine twenty seven. It lets you know that they're gonna have to call out to him. Mm -hmm. There are certain things that have to happen before the twelve tribes are yes. ever exposed yes. and, and forever before you ever know who they are. That's right. So unless those things happen, unless the tribulation temple is built, unless the uh, the uh, what do I want to say. The contract is made between the Antichrist and the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. That don't happen yet. Then we'll That's never right. know who That's the twelve right. tribes are until those things happen. So there's no way these guys running around saying that they the twelve tribes of Israel are so, Israel. So, so you got that one right on Pastor Moss' test. Oh, you know I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know I did. We, we just had a test on prophets. That's <laughs> right, on prophets. Mm -hmm. So there's there's no there's no way that they can be these guys. And the yes. whole thing, once again, you you have all this twisting of the scriptures. Yes. Then you got them trying to keep the law. Then you got them telling you that people will be slaves in heaven. Mm. God does not do that. Nowhere in the Bible does he say that. As a matter of fact, if, we, if you all want to, of course, we can always go over to Isaiah 14 and look at it. Well, but, let's, let's go there. Okay. 
and why are you going? I'm going to see if I can find this. This other one. That script, when head. that man said it, I mean, it was just bothering me. But right. yeah, I wanted to go, but I was trying to hear everything he was saying. I say, what? <laughs> That's how they do it. So, all right. So now, the uh, the premise over here in Isaiah 14 that the black Hebrew Israelites are saying that in heaven, that the white man or Esau will be his slave. But if we look at this verse and, and we read it from uh, Isaiah 14, verse 1 through 2, we'll see where it's at and then we'll define some terms so that we can see uh, what was God's true message here. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will still choose Israel and settle them in their own land. The strangers will be joined with them, and they will cling to the house of Jacob. Then, then people will take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel will possess them for servants and, and maids in the land of the Lord. Mm. They will take them captive, whose captives they were, and rule over their oppressors. Mm. Now, we already see that this has happened once in the book of Ezra, verses uh, chapter 1, 1 through 8. But one thing I want to look at is terminology. Hey, forgive me, Minister. Mm -hmm. Tell that, that's what they use when they talk about heaven. What he's going right. on. That's what they go talking about. That's what's happening in heaven. Right. And that's what they say that, that uh, in verse 2. It says, Then people will take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel will possess them for servants and maids in the land of the Lord. Right? They will take them captive, who captives they were, and rule over their oppressor. Now, I want to break those terms down. Yes. When, the, uh, when God says they will be servants and maids, really what he's saying there is that they will be people who will go along with them to help them. Mm. It doesn't. These two words don't translate as slave. Mm. That's, that's not what it's saying. So then when you hear handmaid or you hear uh, servant, that doesn't necessarily mean a slave. I can come over my uh, brother Robert's house, and I can come over here and help him build a barn or a garage, right. and I'm being a servant to him, which means I'm being a helper to him. That doesn't make me a slave to him. So therefore, we got to look at the terminology right. and break these down and make sure that we understand what God is saying instead of letting people read things in into the text that's not there. And then another part where it says, in the land of the Lord, they will take them captive who captives they were. When it's talking about them being captives, what it's saying is they will win them over, and then they will go with them. Whose captives they were, those people who had them captives will, will once again walk with them. Now, you hear my premise. You hear what I'm saying has happened. Mm. Now, let's go over to the book of Ezra, chapter 1, verse 1 through 8, and see if this type of event has happened with Israel. Mm. Ezra? Anybody there already? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm there. Okay. That's why I love these tabs on this Bible. I'll be using some of my new Bibles. <laughs> Trying to find all these pages. Okay, now, so, this is the end of the Babylonian captivity. Mm -hmm. So, now, remember, we was in Isaiah 14, verse 1 and 2. Now, we're over in Ezra, chapter 1, 1 through 8. Hey, Minister, can I, can I jump in real sure. quick? Who, who allowed Ezra to go uh, back over to, to Ezra? Uh, uh, the king. Uh, what's his name? You come out. Um, uh, I want to. What's his name? Was it Cyrus? Cyrus. Cyrus. King Cyrus. Well, that's right, King Cyrus. I, that's I read my Bible wrong. Wasn't Cyrus a Gentile king? Yes, he mm -hmm. was. And didn't the Bible say he was anointed by God? Yes, he was. Okay, can, carry All on. Right. Okay, because <laughs> I, I ain't point. never heard him address that. No, that you know they don't want to look at that evidence. <laughs> now, that evidence is something different. Okay. <laughs> Now it says this, now in the first year of Cyrus, mm -hmm. king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, mm. king of Persia, so that he made a, pro a proclamation <laughs> throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing saying, thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord God of heaven has given me. And he has commanded me to build him a house <laughs> at Jerusalem. Whoa! All I had to do was wait and let you finish reading the text. <laughs> <laughs> at Jerusalem, which is in Judah, who is among you of all his people. May 
his God be with him and let him go up to Jerusalem, yes. which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord of God of Israel. And whoever is left in any place where he dwells, let the men of his place help him. <laughs> men servants, maid servants, mm -hmm. with silver and gold, mm -hmm. with goods and livestock, besides the free will offerings for the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of the father's houses of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites with all whose spirits God had moved arose to go up and build the house of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Now, did we not just say whose captives you were, mm -hmm. those captives would go with you. They, they were won over. God put it on King Cyrus's heart, and then the people went with them, giving them what? Gold and silver and helping them, being what? Made servants and men servants, not slaves. Mm -hmm. So therefore, Scripture, once again, interprets Scripture. This is God's holy word. He knows how to lay it out. Minister, you brought up an, uh, another thought the other day from Exodus. Remember you talked about when, when Israel came out of Egypt. Right. Right. Uh, how they how they how they came out and the, and the Egyptians went with them and gave oh. them uh, uh, the, the gold earrings right. and all this no, stuff exactly mm -hmm. and when they uh when they had left out oh, when we was talking about in Deuteronomy twenty eight mm -hmm. when uh when Egypt when they left and I was referring back to we were talking about you said they you said in other words they they, they became Israel right mm -hmm. right exactly they did so once again what we saying the scripture if you look into it will break down. You know what I'm saying? The verses. So therefore, instead of somebody reading into the verse saying, in heaven, which nowhere in the Bible does this let you know in heaven that there will be slaves, that, that theology or that thinking pattern is just off. But yet, if we look, once again, if we look into the scriptures, the scripture lays out what happened. Mm -hmm. So therefore, now, if you were, let, let's say it over in uh, Isaiah 14, if, and this is still far-fetched for me, even if you were saying during, uh, the tribulation, if people were in Jerusalem and then went, you know what I'm saying, with uh, with Israel, then you might can say that, but once again, it just don't line up, you know, it, right. it's just far-fetched. So as we look at it, I'll finish verse uh, 6. It says, And all those who were around them encouraged them with articles of silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with precious things, besides all that was, was willingly offered. King Cyrus also brought out of the articles of the house of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken from Jerusalem and put in the temple of his gods. And Cyrus, king of Persia, brought them out by the hand of Myth Mithridath, the treasurer, and counted them out to Sh uh, Shesh Sheshbazar, the prince of Judah. So therefore, we already see right in the Bible, the Bible expresses out what happened. And if you know the terminology and you really divide the word of God, you'll understand what God is saying. And he never in the Bible says that in heaven you will have slaves and they're going to put yokes of bondages on Esau's necks or a.k.a. Well, the white. Well, man. I think I just found what we were looking for. Go to Deuteronomy 5, 15. And if you can, go to Deuteronomy 15, 5. Okay. Deuteronomy 5. And actually, we want to start up a little, above, a little bit above it. Uh, I think we're going to start up about uh, verse, start up about verse 14. Deuteronomy 5, 14? Mm hmm Okay. And it says, so I can find the 14. Because you said. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the way I, I got it here. I don't see my but, 14. But, the, but uh, uh, Deuteronomy 5, uh, 14. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son. You remember that? Now it's coming back to you. Okay. We talked right. about that, right? right. But you, where you at, Deuteronomy? Yeah, Deuteronomy five. Yeah. I started at fourteen. Okay. Uh, uh, you tell me what you nor thy okay. son, nor thy daughter. You must got a Bible like Dave. I must. Do. <laughs> you use it so much to, the letters that went out the back. I see fifteen and I see thirteen. Let's see, fourteen. Could he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I had to use a little younger eyes. Okay, but I'll continue this okay. one. Um, so, um, let me start back over. But the seventh seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, thy God. Mm -hmm. In it thou shalt not do any work, mm -hmm. thou, nor thy son, 
nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy ox, nor thy donkey, donkey, <laughs> <laughs> nor any of thy cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservants and thy maidservants may rest as well yeah, as you. thou. Let's go to the Father. And remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt, and the Lord thy God brought thee out this through a mighty hand and by a stretched arm. Therefore, the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. Well, now that's we, we're going to just go with the first one. But the point we was getting at, okay. the God told you remember, you don't do other people. If you know what it's like being being hurt, mm -hmm. you don't do that to somebody else. That's right. Right. Don't repay evil and, for evil. Woo, what's that? First Peter 3, 9? Yeah. yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah. That's right. Evil for evil. <laughs> insult yeah. for insult. Yeah. My brother put me up on that the other yeah. day. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and of course, if that's God's rule and it's continuing in the mm -hmm. Bible, then there's no way he's going to go into heaven right. and start telling people, well, you right. know what, they owe you this. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's some more in there. I just couldn't find it because it's, it, it's in one of the lessons that we did. That's why I said fresh in my mind. Okay. I just can't put my hands on it now. So I, 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 I cheated. I Googled. That's all right. Ain't wrong with that. That's all right. What you're supposed to do. That's why you Google to right. get the right, right. answer. Right. And you know, uh, Minister, if, if, if you do something to me, and all I can do is dwell on it. In me, you can't go no place, and I can't go nowhere neither. That's right. Because I'm bound, because cause I got my foot on your neck. That's right. But in order for me to keep my foot on your neck, you can't go nowhere, and I got to be in the same position too. That's right. Because right? I got my, I, I don't want to let my foot up off your neck because of what you did to me. That's right. God said release that. In Christ, you understand, we are released. That's Christ right. is our refuge and whatnot. Old things are, are left behind. You you moved on. You moved That's on. Right. We're in Christ now. Right. So so uh, um, if we can forgive black folks for what they do to you, you tell me I can't forgive white folks for what they did to That's me. That's right. Right. And, and and let me say this another way. And I don't want to get off course. So stop me. That's all <laughs> I'm right. going too far. And and with my past, when I was in the street, I hated the police. Yeah, and whatnot because of things that happened. Now I was doing wrong now, mm -hmm. but then they beat my head and did all those kind of things. Took my money and all those things. But again, like I said, I was doing wrong. But you know, when you're doing wrong, you don't see what you're doing. That's right. All you see is what what they do. What they doing? Mm -hmm. But anyway, when I came into the church, and the church was outside of uh, uh, town, and I was trying to find this church, and I couldn't find it. And Joanne and I, we stopped this police car, and I asked the police officer, I said, uh, "Do you know where this church is?" And and he, he, you know, in the South, they talk with that accent. Mm -hmm. You know, you heard all the stories. Right. But in this case, I didn't get that. He said, you mean, you're looking for a sword so old church? He said, follow me. I couldn't get over that. I said, now, if the boys was to see me back home, mm -hmm. here I'm getting an escort to church by the police. Mm -hmm. Cook, cook. <laughs> right. but, but you understand what I'm saying? How when you and God, God, how God will turn things around. Right. You've seen coming up the steps, because we're up in my studio right now. Mm -hmm. Before you understand, I would be peeping out the window. Mm -hmm. that, or all the pictures I had was me or the police taking pictures of me. When you come up down the steps, you see pictures of police right, right. <laughs> on right. my wall down there. Yeah, me right. taking their pictures right. and whatnot. I'm, it amazes me how God will turn things around. You can't be holding things against folks. No. And God, God will turn yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll turn yeah. your enemies into your, your footstool and take your right. enemies, enemies into to friends. That's over right. and over mm -hmm. and over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, and I, I, mm -hmm. I agree with you because uh, I was the same way. Mm -hmm. Didn't like the police. Had a lot of encounters with them. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until, let me see, my insurance wasn't right and my license wasn't right. <laughs> and, you know, we stay in Michigan, so... I got pulled over in Redford. Mm -hmm. I got pulled over in uh, over in Oak Park, mm -hmm. and I got pulled over by a state trooper. Mm -hmm. They was all white, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. all let me go. Oh, they all let and me they go. They all let me go. <laughs> and God was showing me. He said, you know, no matter what, I have my hand in everybody. Yes. And, and you can't judge people by just what they do or what uniform they wear or what color they. Yes. Because mm -hmm. when they all let me go, all I can say is, man, the Lord is good. Yes. Yeah, the then yes. he's showing that every cop is not like. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because then I got black cops that'll treat you bad, and then here you, go, you got white cops that treated me well. Yeah. When I was dead wrong. Yes, yes. So, yeah, and, you know, the same thing happened with, wait, would you finish? Of course, something. No, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and the same thing happened, like I said, when I started working with you, and I talk about this in my book, you know, and, and the, the stereotype that you have with all the things, you understand, that people talk about is in the neighborhood, white folks this, white folks that. Mm -hmm. And so when I started working for at and 
Well, the way God had it, where he put me, I was working with nothing but Caucasian people. Mm -hmm. And Joanne would tell you, they said, oh, Robert, and I was commuting back and forth, oh, Robert, we know you get your work done. You, you ain't got to rush back. When it came time to reviews, I got good reviews. Now, other folks, sometimes I would hear the stories or things of that, and I'm saying, I can't say none of that because ain't none of that happening to me. Right. Everything was, God would, it's just amazing when you in, in, in we not saying that you may not have to experience that. That's not what we're saying. Right. Right. But in God, there are pe people love God. That's right. It's not black folks love God. Right. Or white folks love God. There are people that love God. That's right. And God understands, he said, I give men for thee and people for thy life. Perhaps maybe you're just looking in the wrong place. That's Try it. God. Try God. That's right. <laughs> he will turn you around. He yes. will turn them around. He will, you know, yes. he will show you the truth of how the world is, yes. it really is in his eyes. Yes. And that's what I want to see. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. So I don't need that that stuff that the the, the black Hebrew is license is 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 it's promoting. It's, yeah. it's promoting. Yeah. What yeah. I need yeah. is the Bible. Right. Show True. me how to be more in Christ. You know what too? I was uh I was looking at that video earlier that you that you sent to me. Mm -hmm. And you know, they always want to define a term by a different uh scripture. Mm -hmm. And you know, they always say, "What is love?" Mm -hmm. Love is keeping the commandments. Wait. The Bible tells us over in Corinthians that love is long suffering, mm -hmm. patience, mm -hmm. you know, perseverance. Yeah. So then why they don't use none of that towards the white man? <laughs> I just want to know because the Bible clearly displays out what love is. And let me ask, is that different between our love and God's love? In actuality what the word means because remember when Jesus said love, I've given you an example of love so we know mm -hmm. it's not a difference. Right. Right. Now we know you got a copy and all that. That's right. not what we're talking about. So if it was like what they were saying, then God should be keeping some, some commandments. Right. <laughs> if that's what love was. Right, if that's what love is. But all the things you just named, compassion, the mercy. That's right. We see God doing that's it. That's right. We see God working it out. And then that's what we're supposed to do. But yes. this is not what they're teaching or preaching. And yes. then right here in Romans 12, 20, it says, Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. Yes. Mm -hmm. If he thirsts, give him drink. Yes. For in so doing, thou shalt heap cold fires. On his head. Mm -hmm. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Oh, you know? Lord, have mercy. <laughs> so, <laughs> read that. Then you said, do that part again. Uh -huh. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. You know so what then, what they should be doing is preaching the gospel to them. Yes. Getting them saved. Yes. Right? That's what they should be doing yes. instead of mm -hmm. trying to convict them and tell them, you're going to be slaves and yes. you're going to get yours. Yeah. Per perhaps, maybe if I pray for you, pray with you, God might have mercy on you. Yeah, right. Like, right. like, 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 like he, he had on me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I, no you're going to get yours. Right. You're going to get yours. <laughs> and it's funny that, you know, in that same sense that when it comes to black folks, You'll watch your cousin, your neighbor do all type of rotten stuff. Yes. And then still say, well, it's okay. And then go out and convict the white man for just being white. Yeah, just for being white. This guy that you're talking well, to on the street. Tonight. No, right. <laughs> this guy that you're talking to on the streets ain't never owned a slave. Mm -hmm. he, he's stuck in the world just like you. Yet you want to convict him for something somebody else did that's gone. Minister, we just watched on TV, uh, what the last week you had, what the, the, the Caucasian? Officer mm -hmm. took and I, I can't remember why he went was at the, the lady's house, mm -hmm. but it, whatever it was, she needed something. He took and wrote a letter because she was say she was down person. I mean, she was just down on on, on luck. Everything was wrong. Okay. And he took and wrote a letter and put a check in there for fifty dollars and came back and stuck it in in her mailbox. She wanted to call him to thank him and he didn't want to meet in some kind of way. She got it to the news, but he didn't want no credit right. for it. Right. And she said, "Now I'm a." Spend this fifty. She said, "But this letter, right. I'm gonna keep that for forever." A Caucasian. That's right. He didn't want no. He didn't want to be on the news and and all that. He just want to do something good for yes. us. That's right. And that's yes. how people truly are. You know. Right? Yeah. You know how you watch those and tears hit your eyes. Right. Because that from the heart reached the heart, mm -hmm. not from the skin to the skin. No, they did because <laughs> all our uh, works is like filthy rags. So that means my skin, they skin, the extra skin, all filthy. Yeah, everybody right? got a skin with the sun. Like I got a skin. Right. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's skin is filthy, so it's you know. It's just one of them things that we just gonna. But they're to... using our Bible to trick people. They are. Mm -hmm. They are. They they are doing that. And what we find in the cults is most of them are the same way. They all dogmatic. They yes. all say we the teachers and you the students mm -hmm. and learn our way. And if it's not our way, then go about your business. They say they prophets. 
All right. Right. It's they profit? That's what they said. <laughs> That's what that man show said today. So, let me understand something. So we started with the prophets. Then we had Christ. Then we had the apostles. And then we're going back to the prophets. <laughs> we're going back to the prophets. <laughs> oh, okay. But in Ephesians 2.20, if my brother, you know what I'm saying, if you want to look that up right quick. Ephesians, Ephesians 2.20. 20, okay, yeah, I'm going to go there for you, brother. Hey, what does it say <laughs> over Ephesians 2 and 20? Well, right here in Ephesians 2.20 it say, and our, okay, I'm going to go. Now, therefore, ye are no more strange and foreign, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the Ooh. apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. So, now, what have we been taught? So, if you got the apostles, the prophets, Jesus Christ as the chief cornerstone, right. the foundation has been laid. Mm -hmm. So, now, we got new prophets? What they going to do? <laughs> and then, you know, and I heard them say that too. The prophets are back. Yeah. There's a verse that I read not too long ago. It might be in the book of Revelation, or it might be one of the other books. And I know when, it, when it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen during the uh, Millennium Kingdom, mm -hmm. where it says that if you start to prophesy, your mother and your father mm -hmm. will take you out and do away with you. Mm -hmm. So now. We already see these false prophets coming back <laughs> on the scene already. That's a whole lot of stones. That's a whole lot of stones. <laughs> and the thing is this. The prophets had a job, right? Mm -hmm. We all know the prophets wrote scripture, mm -hmm. right? So now, are they going to write scripture? No. Nah. I'm just asking, you know. Well, you know what, Melissa? Today, it wouldn't surprise me. You, you got, you got the, 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 uh, the Jehovah Witness came over their own Bible so they can add the A in front of God. That's right. And the other. Right. And whatnot. So it, it shouldn't surprise us. No. Nothing, but oh, let, let me get this in. Dave and uh, the young man that he was talking to, Dave was able to show some show the young man something he was showing. I'm trying to remember what he was that he was showing. Oh, he said the guy. Let me see if I can get it right. He said the guy, this Jew of witness. He said he said something to the effect of, "Show me anywhere in the scripture where uh, Jesus did something or spoke when he was dead." And Dave took him to. Um, is it First Peter, where, where he proclaimed that, uh, in other words, he's still in the grave, right. and he proclaimed the gospel right. to, to the, that, to what, what, what is that first? To the old. Isn't uh, it First Peter? Uh, yeah. But you know what I'm, what I'm saying. I don't want to make the right. time. Is it, <laughs> Pastor Moss ain't on I say, it's in the Bible. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's in the Bible. But the point being, he said, the guy said, that can't be right. <laughs> oh, oh, why not? Right, but it's right. in the Bible. But it was in, and that's what Dave told me. Said, but it, and, and he did, he showed it to him in the New World uh, Translation. Translation right? yeah. In his Bible. In his Bible. Right. So the, the, the thing of it is, you can't outdo God. No, you can't. <laughs> they can't they keep trying, but right. you can't outdo it. And, and, and that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? As long as we read the scriptures and we know where to go, we will be able to show people evidence to yes. get them to yes. think. And don't worry if they don't don't get you did what you're supposed to do. That's right. They mm -hmm. might not get it that day. Mm -hmm. It might be two weeks, two months later, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. God will work on them and get mm -hmm. them where they need to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing that we always want to um, yeah, keep looking yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 work. And then you got to be careful that you don't get. Uh, well, I won't say angry, but you just don't want to sin right. because because right. it should disturb you when you hear people perverting. The gospel, right. but you have to remember, vengeance is mine, said the, the the Lord. That's right. You have to keep yourself calm and learn the learn the scriptures. Stay in the scriptures. Learn what learn what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. How to counteract it with scriptures, right. even if they don't get. Matter of fact, they use our tactic. One this Caucasian man that was talking to him, he asked him, said, "Why are you shouting?" And he went to a scripture that says some that says something about cry out. Right. So so the reason he said he was shouting because he cried he, he's crying out. Right. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm just uh -huh. reading something. And so, and so uh, he said, because uh, uh, you may not hear, but the folks is over there. Well, that's the same thing that we're saying. By you talking to them, they may not hear, mm -hmm. but it might be somebody that's in that crowd right. that, that you said, be. that you saving, mm -hmm. that they might have been leaning towards what they were saying. Right. And because you took and withstood, stood it with scripture, right. you might cause them the, the uh, second. To uh, build up what? Cognitive, 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 cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. Right. That's right. So, so like David <laughs> said yesterday, you always fishing. You always, mm -hmm. you know, and Jesus said, I'll teach you how to be fishermen uh, of men. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to look at uh, another thing. Remember we were talking about the, the black Hebrew Israelites and how they were going to be uh, reunited with God. Well, wait a minute, Mr. And I, I got to keep cutting that in. So now they, they, they hit me because they don't want you to put the black on there. They want you to uh -oh. drop the black uh -oh. off and just say Hebrew. <laughs> no, 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 no. It don't, 
Why they come in? That's right. If you out there preaching this black gospel all the time, and then you get mad when people call you the black Hebrew Israelites, don't be like that because it's it's Israelites who are white. And the problem that I go ahead, I didn't mean to get the problem that I have with it is this: first and foremost, you got all of these white Israelites. Over there in uh, Israel, uh -huh. but yet all of these supposed dispersed Israelites uh -huh. are still here. Uh -huh. Now, remember we were talking about uh, Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven. Let's, let's go look at that. I, I just thirty-seven. Yeah, I just like to let the <laughs> let the Bible speak for itself. Break some of these things down because I know one thing to be true. Right now, all those who <laughs> claim that Jesus Christ is not God. Mm. Is false. Yes, yes, yes. Whether you white or black. Yes. Whether you dispersed or in the land. <laughs> either way. Preach. If, right, if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is who he say he yeah. is, then you are already condemned. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and matter of fact, the Bible, while you're going there, the Bible yeah. said John 8, 24, and you should die in your, your sins. Yeah. That's right. All right. So we're over here in uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. And I'm going to read 1 through uh, 1 through 10. Okay. And this is talking about the dry bones. Oh. And when we're talking about the dry bones, this is talking about the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple different things in here that has to come to pass before this nation is reconciled. And I'm going to mm -hmm. point one of those things out. I'm going to start at verse 1 and I'm going to try to read a little fast. It says, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around. Mm -hmm. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Mm -hmm. And indeed, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones. And say to them, O oh dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Mm -hmm. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall live, then you shall know that I am the Lord. Now I'm gonna start right there real quick. Because when we look, we always want to look at terminology. In this terminology, when you see the word sinews, mm -hmm. right? Sinews is uh like skin, muscle, and cartilage mm -hmm. being brought back together. Now, notice that in the context as it's talking, he's still saying that I will put breath in you. Mm -hmm. So even as this skin and these uh, and this collagen is all being connected, it's still dead because there's no breath in it. Mm -hmm. So in 1948, when the Jews went back to Israel, we see this happening, that the skin and the cartilage started coming back together, but yet the nation is still dead without breath. Mm -hmm. And I'll continue. Verse Ooh, 7. That's pretty. Right, that's right. So it says, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Mm -hmm. So still no life. And, and verse nine, also he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds of the breath and breathe on these slain that they may live. So, as we see verse 9 in uh, verse 9, where it says breathe on them, when does this happen? When do these four winds come and breathe life back into the nation of Israel? Where is that? Revelation chapter 7, verse 3, during the tribulation period. So, if I said it once and I say it again, there is no way that these guys are out here saying that the 12 tribes have come back together, that they are prophets, and that they're gathering the tribes mm -hmm. back together. And so that you see that I'm, I'm, I'm building this up on scripture, it says what? Thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they may live. Remember, now he says four winds. When we look at that word, that terminology, the word is pneuma. And that word is uh, for the spirit. Now, there are some spirit creatures that can come and bring this breath. Mm -hmm. Let's go look at it. Revelation chapter 7, verse 3. 
7, verse 3. Mm -hmm. I'll start at verse 2. And it says this. Starting at, no, I'll start at verse 1. After these things, I saw the four angels. Uh, four. I saw the four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, mm -hmm. holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Mm. So once again, we see it where? Over in Ezekiel 37, 1 through 9. And then we see over here in Revelation chapter 7, verse 3, where what? The four winds come in and give what? Life back to Israel by doing what? Sealing them on the forehead mm. from God. There is no way that these that guys, that's, that has not happened yet. So therefore, there's more scripture we can run into and to back this up. But as you see, it interprets itself. I don't have to put my own mm -hmm. clause in here or my own premise because God has it lined up so that when we read and we study, mm -hmm. we understand. And God said you're witnessing against yourself. That's right. So if it's in the scripture, mm -hmm. that's it. see, I don't have to understand everything right. to say that, oh, it's there. That's right. It's, it's on there. the page. It's there. Right. That's, right. that's all I'm asking you to understand. Mm -hmm. Is it on the page? See, we get into we think we think that we got to understand everything. Some things God don't tell you. That's right. Matter of fact, if you, if somebody's selling a book, I like, I'm stealing this from Pastor Moses. Okay. Uh, uh, with the the, uh, the seven thunders, he mm -hmm. told him to shut up the book. Don't don't write. Told John don't write. So whatever it was the thunder, seven thunder said, John didn't write it. That's right. So if somebody is selling the book, talking about here's what the seven thunder said, mm -hmm. you know <laughs> they lie. That's right. And you know what? I will do one too. I'm going to back you up just like you said. <laughs> that what some things God don't want you to know, mm -hmm. right? Deuteronomy 29, 29. Okay. And this is what it reads. It says this. The secret things belong to the Lord, <laughs> our God. But those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, mm -hmm. that we may do all the words of this law. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we know the secret things are secret. They belong to God. And everything that he has revealed is in his word, and he has already given it to us. So, like the pastor was saying, it's here. You might not understand it, but it's been revealed. And those things that God don't want you to know, guess what? Mm -hmm. You won't know. Let's close out on uh, 1 Timothy 3.16. All right. And this is one I like. I mean, and, and I know you're gonna say, "Well, I wish we had more time," because I know how you like uh, First uh, First John. Uh, I'm not First John. John one, uh, four, four, fourteen, mm -hmm. and whatnot. And this ties right with that. I know you can do a lesson mm -hmm. <laughs> on, on, on this and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, are we there? Yes. It says, "And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness." Ooh. What is a mystery? Something that you do not you know. You do not know. But see, the problem is everybody want to explain everything. They do. How are you going to explain what you don't know? <laughs> right. At that point, you start what? Isogeting the text. You start reading, Isogeting, yes. Reading your own yes, message yes, in there. Yes. Having two-hour debates and whatnot. If the scripture don't say it, I can't say it. That's right. Right. And that's what to say. And if it's on the page, some, something we won't know to buy and buy till you get there before the Lord. Do you have Lord? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? That's right, 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 right. And by that time, when I get before him, I might not even be thinking about it. I'm so happy to be in front of him and right. worshiping and, and praising him. Right. And forget everything and all the other questions right. that I had. And the thing, you know what, no, that I noticed too, mm -hmm. like you were just saying, what are we doing out of all things? This is one of the biggest things that they have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Keeping the commandments. Yeah. They're always telling us, you got to keep the commandments. Well, I found that if we read the Bible in context and do what it say, mm -hmm. we keeping God's commandments. Yes, yes. Whereas you adding in and being racist and being right. biased to all mm -hmm. these, you're not keeping God's commandments. Yeah, so yeah. you can say that all you want, but the Bible says you weren't going to be able to keep commandments anyway. But, you mm -hmm. know, that's their argument. Mm -hmm. And it's just some of the things that we you know, you, have you to can't have to get. Look at. Now what you're saying, minister, is that we can't get the love down right. That's and right. And we try to wear fringes. <laughs> you can't wear the women can't wear those pants. That's right. And all the other things that they want to take and put your the meat you can't eat the pork. That's you can't do this here. Well, when, when did you ever talk about love? No. Oh, they did because love, love is, is keeping the commandments. Keeping right. the commandments. But, but then you go to Jesus. They say the, 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 the other commandments. He said the first is namely this. 
And then, which is the great dancing? Which is the greatest of the commandments? Right. They said, first, uh, uh, come on, Robert. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that you love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul, and with all thy strength. That's the first commandment. Mm-hmm. The second, that, namely this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That is no commandment greater than these. Then they want to go back and say, well, Jesus kept the commandment. Yeah, you you 100% right. He wrote them and he lived by them. That's right. But, but it's like grace and law was in the land at one time. The Bible gives us the example of the the um, uh, the, the bondswoman and, and, and Sarah. Right. One was phasing out and the other one was coming in. The promise was coming in. That's right. the, the bondswoman was phasing out. Same thing happened with the law and grace. Mm-hmm. Law is phasing out. Mm-hmm. Grace is, is coming in. Right. And except we understand it, two two women two women can't live in the house. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And that's, and that's, that's the truth. It's going to be a problem. Yeah. That's right. Two husbands ain't going to be in the house. Nope. That's a problem. Right. <laughs> don't don't try it. Right. So, right. And these are the things that the Bible gets to see. So all these things, when you want to talk about the law, if you got the us, and, and well, we know for us, because we ain't talking about it with them, mm-hmm. and we know that Jesus God and David went through several scriptures last night proving that he was, mm-hmm. then who gave Israel the commandments? God. Okay, uh, well, great, great. Sorry, but you know you're that. right. Mm-hmm. But if Jesus is God, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because, right. you know, he was, uh, uh, the son was manifested in the flesh. Right. So if Jesus is God, who gave Israel the commandment? Jesus. Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus. Exactly. I don't see how they don't understand. Right. Him. So, so if it's him, he can take and uh, 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 what you call it when you uh, uh, make it void. Right. For lack of a better word, because he's sovereign. Because he's sovereign. Right. It's, right. It's, they're his laws. He can do whatever he wants yes. to do with them. And and it's not like he knocked it down. What huh. he did, he gave you the law of Christ. Right. That's right. And in those things, he said, you understand, that if you love me, you ain't going to steal. That's right. All those things we That's see right. in the You're New Testament. They, so right. so it ain't like what they said, that we free to walk around. But that great spirit, I don't get. Like you guys said, you don't even know if you're going to live to the next minute. That's ne- right. Next minute. That's At right. least on the card, you know you got to the 27th to pay the bill. Right. <laughs> That's right. Add interest to it. That's right. But you don't know. You don't know. One, one day that he said, take no thought for, of your, um, for, uh, for tomorrow. And I'm mm-hmm. saying that out of context. I get what you're saying. Right. But take no thought for tomorrow because you don't know what. You don't even know what you got coming up the next hour. That's right. You better live for God yeah. while you got a chance. Right, and you better accept him now. Yeah. That's right. and, and then I believe on what he said when I accept him, because it ain't about what I do. Right. right. <laughs> that I got a, I got a chance to get it right. right. No, you got a chance to accept him. That's right. And what that's, he did. That's right. Nah. That's right. That, and that's what you. Huh. Yeah. And anything else, you put a yoke on people neck. That's because right. if you love God, people that truly love. One guy asked, and I know we passed time. One guy guy asked, um, well, what do you mean about a biblical Christian? What kind of other Christian is he? Because I talked about a biblical Christian. Carnal? <laughs> See, See now, how long did it take you to not long. say that? Did it take you long? No. But they act like like you said something strange and whatnot. We go there because they force us to go there. That's right. If I talk about Jesus, I got to say the biblical Jesus, Jesus right. because they're coming up with all kinds Jesus, of things. They, right. they, they force us to define our terms. Term. Right. And yeah. we're gonna define them. Right out the Bible. Right out the Bible. That's it. <laughs> the Bible and nothing else. <laughs> Amen. And if you notice tonight, all these ministers did here, and he's my, uh, my brother, he's, he's a minister. He's a minister in Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, all they did, they didn't go to the Apocrypha. They didn't go to the Torah. <laughs> no. All they did was stay right in the, in the 66 text. books. That's right. That's right. right. Uh-huh. That's we, right. So if it's there, it's no need for us to go no, nowhere else. No That's way. what he gave us. We ain't like the Jehovah's Witness where you got to have reasoning from the Scripture <laughs> to understand uh, uh, right. the day Bible right. and, all, the and, and, all, and the Watchtower mm-hmm. and all these uh, other things. We ain't like the Mormons. That's right. Gotta have the Book of Mormons, the uh, was Pearl, the Pearl of the Great Christ. Pro- mm-hmm. Right, right on. For us, it's the Bible and nothing, nothing else. else. That's it. Nothing else. We ain't, we ain't the nation of Islam, the Bible, and the Quran. Yeah, All yeah. the water don't mix. Sorry. Yeah. It just and and, and like if you ain't Farrakhan, you don't understand how neither one of them work. That's right. Right, <laughs> right, right. All those things, you understand, get people focusing on everybody but Jesus Christ. Right. right. And, and, and this gospel is, is simple. No, we're not saying that we understand everything. Right. But as we keep learning, it's somewhere in the scripture. Mm-hmm. Uh, you might get into a, a meeting or talk with, with brothers. And uh, like Minister Andrew did, and he showed me that uh, Titus uh, 3 and 9. I said, ooh, we talked about the It was there. Right. It's I done read over it. I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. 
Right. That's and right. so in talking with brothers and sisters, people of like man Bible, mm -hmm. somebody done covered what, what, yeah, what you're looking did. for right, in right. the Bible. Mm -hmm. You go to your Bible study with, like, with Pastor Moss. And hopefully that's, and I know it's your uh, evangelist. Mm -hmm. Maybe some, uh, no, Pastor Wingate, I named something I know. Right. Not saying that there's no others right. out there. Right. But in you know, a good Bible study where you're learning the Bible, mm -hmm. and you say, ooh, I didn't know that was in there. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It, it, it's new to you, right. but it, it was it's there, there. <laughs> all the it's time. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. They ain't bringing in their priest, so-called precepts, precepts, and yeah. all these other things to explain. Everything these ministers talked about tonight, they went into the scripture, they went into other scriptures that talked about those things, that he elaborated mm -hmm. on those things. Mm -hmm. Nowhere did he have to read a word into the text that wasn't there. That's adding to the scripture. That's right. That's changing the scripture. Dude. That's modifying the scripture. That's right. Everything that he proved tonight, he went somewhere else to show you because I don't want to take he said, I won't I won't take it away from me. He went to scriptures that elaborate on those, those, those things. That's right. That's the kind of teaching that you want. If you're talking to somebody and they're not doing it, get away from them quick. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um uh, you want to cast out in prayer? Yeah, sure. Lord Jesus, we come to you in prayer, thanking you, Lord, that um, hoping that this touched somebody's heart, Lord. The, um, the word that we came with, Lord, we came strictly from the Bible, mm -hmm. Lord, and nowhere else, Lord, because we know this is our authority, Lord. Amen. And Lord, we hoping that um, someone heard this today, yes. and, and um, it pricked them at the heart, Lord, to want to accept Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, and not go um, nowhere else to other cults and um, right. We're religious or nothing like that, but stay within your word, Lord. Yes. And want to accept Jesus Christ, Lord. And thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You were born a male. Being a man is a choice. Not because you wear the pants or the bass in your voice. No, sir. It's much deeper than that. As a matter of fact, now that this domestic violence issue has been brought to the forefront, I'm gonna have to be both transparent and blunt. What it's like to try to control someone else's life Cause you can't control your own Going to church every Sunday And God's trying to remove you from his throne I know what it's like to be a cosmetic Christian To front like you up but your spirit is torn down Saying hallelujah real loud but your soul is still bound So you hide your fears and inconsistencies Behind a mask of anger Treating the ones you say you love like a perfect stranger Now she's in the kitchen afraid for her life Just a cheap Paint job over an old where ragged life So I'ma have to call you out Christian man Where are you? Where are you? Christian man Where are you? Christian man Christian man Christian man, where are you? I long to see you strong and true Isn't there something we need to do? Have you withdrawn your eye from God's view? Undone work to do Have you considered your job to be through? Christian man, where are you? Is your help meet by your side Or is she forced to the front while you run and hide? Are you wrapped up in your natural pride Simply unwilling to serve and stride? Let me bring some clarity to this point Many women's hearts do bleed In hopes a real man will take the lead Christian man, where are you? Bone in your back? Some of us are way off track. This generation needs us to stand up and do that which we've been called to do. Are you imprisoned by your mind? Can't you see there's not much time? So I ask you, 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 and me too, Christian man, where are you? Amongst unfamiliar faces, in the midst of hidden dark places, where are you in your mindset and philosophies, in your innermost thoughts and secret deeds, in your unfulfilled desires and unsatisfied needs, in all that you possess and what truly possesses you? If you ask yourself these questions to thine own self, you must be true. Christian man, where are you? Ah.